What's good YouTube? We back with another video and today I'm gonna be making a beat like Kiefer. I don't really got much to say before this video, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so y'all see what we rocking with. We got Ableton on deck, and you know, if you guys watch any of my other videos, you'll notice that I'm usually using Serato Studio. Well your boy cop Ableton, and I'll be doing a video on the return to Ableton after a whole year. But Let's uh let's not get besides yourself and let's talk about this key for beat. So before we get into it, let me just give you guys a little preview of how the beat sounds and then I'll go into the steps that I took to get that sound. All right, so that's just a little preview. Um, that's to be right there. So yeah, let's talk about what we did. First off, we did the drums. So let me show you guys what I got. Just a very simple uh, pattern and nothing really special about it. A kick on a one, a snare on a two, kick on a three, and a snare on a four. So let me show you how that sounds. Real simple. After getting that progression, I ended up adding a hi-hat loop and yeah, this is how that sounds. And with the drum pattern, this is how it sounds. After that, I ended up getting the chords and these were pretty, uh, these are pretty smooth, I, I must admit. So I'm gonna give you guys a little preview of how they sounded and then I'm gonna tell you guys what the chords are and yeah. Those chords that I played are a A flat minor seven, going down to a G major seven, to a C major seven, to a C sharp minor seven, and then I also played a little groovy melody in the left hand. And that's how it sounds together. After getting that, I ended up adding a bass line, and this is how that sounds. So yeah, after getting that, I was pretty motivated. I felt like I was making a lot of progress, and I really needed to add something that sounded like Kiefer, so why not add a piano? So I ended up getting this piano from uh, Machines. It's just a basic grand piano and I ended up adding a wide stereo to make it sound a lot wider. And I also took out a lot of the bass right here, took out some mids and uh, maxed out the highs with this EQ3 I use right here. That just gave it a, a much airy sound and I also topped it off by adding um, the maximum amount of color to it. So basically if I take away the color, it's gonna sound a lot more dark and uh, fill with bass. If I max the color, it's gonna sound very lively and colorful. So yeah, that's what I did for that piano. And let me show you guys how that sounded. So yeah, that's the piano, it sounds Honestly, I can play this all day. So the chords for this piano were very similar to the rolls that I played earlier. Just a few things were a little bit different. So let me show you guys how that sounds. So 
So yeah, that's what I got. And this is how it sounds with all the other sounds. <laughs> sound that I added was this atmospheric choir sound from machines and this is how it sounds basically the same chords just uh, different voicings nothing crazy We're real simple just something that fill in the beat and this is how it all sounds together So that's pretty much all the sounds in the beat right there. All I have to do is play around with them and sequence them in a certain way to get that key fulfill. So the next part that I want to show you guys is the solo. It's nothing really crazy. It's just an eight bar solo, if it's if you can even call it that. So let me show you guys what I got and uh, yeah. <laughs> So that's the solo right there. Um, it's not really too complicated. It's, it's actually really short. If you, I honestly feel like you can't really call it a solo because of how short it is, but I just wanted to add something in there where I just kind of free played, uh, you know, how I was feeling in that moment, just because it's, it's a beat like Kiefer. You know, he's always soloing, he's always improvising over his beats. So I wanted to do that for you guys. But uh, to break that down, basically all I did was, you know, before making this beat, I listened to Kiefer nonstop for weeks um, just to uh, get used to things that he did in his sound and uh, kind of pre predict what he would do uh, while making the beat. So that's the process that I, I took to be able to make something like this and I finally got the opportunity to use it. So so in the solo, I tried to have some, some similarities to Kiefer and uh, filled it in with uh, my own style. So... Two things that I did was uh, roll the notes. So Kiefer does this a lot. And basically all that is is rolling the notes. Instead of playing, I'm adding a note in the middle just to fill it in. So but I'm playing it really fast and smooth and just rolling it in there. So. Another part of the solo that I really tried to make sound like Kiefer was this part right here. I don't really know what I did there. I just knew it kind of sound. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain what I did right there, but it sounded like something Kiefer would play. I feel like I heard him play before. I just can't put my finger on it, but yeah. That's basically the beat right there. All I really did was sequence it and, you know, emphasize some parts and, you know, added things and took things out. And yeah, so after doing all that, this is the finished product that I got. Hopefully you enjoy.
so that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys feel like it sounds like some keeper would make i don't want this video to be clickbait and i don't want you guys to think that i'm just trying to you know post some post a certain title and have you guys click it that's not what i'm here for i'm actually trying to make it sound like you know the producers and hopefully you guys are enjoying this little series i'm doing if you guys have any other recommendations for other producers please let me know because i'll be struggling trying to think of these producers to you know make it be like so if you guys have somebody that you want me to make it be like go ahead let me know down in the comment section below and i'm gonna give it a shot but i don't really got much else to say uh so yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that and peace out